October 17th, circulated for more than half a month of a rumor, finally landed, the United States announced a new round of bans, further tightened the chip exports to China, and will wall refractory, more threads and other 13 companies on the list of entities. The new ban on almost all of NVIDIA, AMD, Intel and other manufacturers of high-performance computing chips, even if NVIDIA in October last year after the first round of the ban launched the castrated A800 and H800 and high-end game chip 4090, also included in the restricted list. Incomprehensible is the first reaction of several interviewees to this ban, but compared to last year, we have much more confidence in the replacement of domestic computing power. Confidence comes from Huawei. In August this year, held 2023 Yabili China Entrepreneurs Forum 19th Summer Summit, Lu Qingfeng, founder of KU Xuanfei, a word stirred up a thousand waves. Huawei's GPU capacity has been able to benchmark NVIDIA A100. At that time, the media revealed that the Xuanfei Starfire large model training for Huawei's newest rising chip 910B. After two months, the IT Times Reporter learned from multiple sources, based on Huawei Rise 910B chip, a full set of domestic smart computing cluster is a number of domestic smart computing centers, large model vendors, telecom carriers to test, although the generality and A100 still have a gap, but after tuning, in some models an A100 can be compared to a few. Before the industrial chain is generally worried, npu base Rise 910B because of the need for personalized tuning it is difficult to provide universal services like NVIDIA. But this new ban is just like a shot in the arm. If everyone has no choice, but will stimulate the ecology, based on the rise chip ecological play will become a lot of participants will also increase. Eventually enough universal personalization, there is also a generality. A professional deeply involved in the rise ecosystem told IG Times. There is not another China, there is only one China. In the first half of this year, NVIDIA CEO Jensun Huang in a media interview issued a call for. The Chinese market is irreplaceable. Apparently did not get the expected response. Although NVIDIA said of the new ban, Given the global demand for our products, we do not expect the new regulations to have a material impact on our financial results in the short term. But everyone knows that the apparent calm can only be short term. This is a cut that has been described as having a precision blade. The U.S. Department of Commerce re-amended last year's definition of high-performance chips, the new performance density threshold clause, the original unrestricted chips are included in the control. To the current Chinese manufacturers to buy the most A800, for example, according to the U.S. ban in 2022, the NVLink interconnect bandwidth shall not exceed 600 gigabytes slash S, so NVIDIA will originally support 600 gigabytes slash S A100 bandwidth down to 400 gigabytes slash S, and to A800 model sales to China. However, the updated band stipulates that as long as the total computing power of the chip is greater than or equal to 4,800 tops, regardless of the interconnect bandwidth is subject to regulation. At present, NVIDIA has confirmed that the export control involves products including but not limited to A100, A800, H100, H800, L40, L40S, and RTX 4090. That is to say, at present, the high-performance arithmetic chips needed for artificial intelligence, basically all in the restricted range. The U.S. government's interim final rule will officially go into effect a month after its release. A piece of news circulating in the community said that NVIDIA advised customers to supplement their orders before 12 p.m. on October 17th, which seems to imply that it will be difficult to obtain a supply guarantee for new orders after this time point. The IT Times reporter inquired about the impact of the new ban on several major domestic cloud merchants, all of which did not receive an effective response. A cloud merchant insiders revealed that the company has had several rounds of small-scale discussions, but is still waiting to see what will happen. Affected should be more than just one of us. We are waiting to see each other each what countermeasures. Another person said, in accordance with the routine, before signing the contract orders should still be normal fulfillment, but there should be no way to buy again, 
and some contracts are signed by the cloud business and server manufacturers, chip makers do not have the right to constrain the final ability to get the goods can only depend on the server makers and NVIDIA's contract is how to sign. However, the domestic NVIDIA server market is still rising in response. The evening of October 19th, a dealer in a resource group released a message. H800, the end of the year delivery, 2,260,000 slash unit. Previously, the 8-card H800 server selling price had been relatively stable at about 2 million yuan. In just two days, it rose 10%. After the news was announced, EST October 17th and 18th, NVIDIA fell for two days, down 8.64%. Previously, according to the Financial Times, Chinese internet giants are scrambling to purchase NVIDIA's high-performance AI chips, which are critical to building generative AI systems, with orders worth $5 billion this year and next. Of that, $1 billion in 2023 and $4 billion in 2024. This year's should be fine, next year's regular performance is now uncertain. For NVIDIA can the $4 billion into the bag, the industry a variety of speculation, but undeniably, this one size fits all. Restrictions is by no means NVIDIA want to hear the news. NVIDIA Chief Financial Officer Colette Kress said on July 30, 2024 fiscal second quarter results, most of the demand for artificial intelligence chips still come from China. Chinese buyers invested in data center products accounted for 20% to 25% of the total revenue. Data center business revenue was $10.32 billion in NVIDIA's fiscal second quarter, according to the data. According to the new ban, perhaps, this part of the revenue share of the majority will disappear, and even the mediocre performance of the game business may also be affected, because the high-end game chip 4090, this time also banned. Will NVIDIA come out with a second neutered version of the A100? There may be but because the ban is too precise, not only limit the total computing power, the performance density has also made a precise description. Even if there is a lower than the new standard A700, A600, it is really difficult to say how attractive to China's artificial intelligence and large model training vendors. If there is no acceptable alternative, it is expected that in the second half of next year, NVIDIA will empty a huge market for China's domestic arithmetic chip manufacturers. On October 15, China Telecom's AI Arithmetic Server Centralized Procurement Project announced candidates, with a total collection amount of over 8.4 billion yuan. Careful analysis of this winning candidate form will find that the commercialization of domestic arithmetic has a considerable scale. For example, in the two packages ranked in the position of the first winning candidate Sichuan Huakun Genyu Intelligent Technology Co., LTD, the bidding price of 2.782 billion yuan. Huakun Genyu is Huawei's ecological partner. According to the official website of Huakun Genyu, the company is fully responsible for Huawei's Kunping Plus Rising processor based on the Tiangong, self-branded servers, storage, PCs, machine vision, and other series of products, design, production, sales and service, and has been Huawei's eco-partners. Currently, it has obtained the only Kuimping Plus Shengting dual leadership certification among Huawei's ecological partners. The China Semiannual Accelerated Computing Market Tracking report released by IDC, an international data company, shows that in the first half of 2023, the market size of China's accelerated chips exceeded 500,000, and the local AI chip brand shipped more than 50,000 which is about 10% more than the entire market share. A Huawei Rise engineer told the IT Times reporter that the large-scale smart computing cluster infrastructure based on Rise 910B has begun testing in some smart computing centers and telecom carriers across the country internally, and Huawei engineers are stationed on-site every day to solve all kinds of problems including servers, routers and other hardware and software. And the first batch of business partners are all in the test as well. In addition to Huawei, we believe that Jonka Doning also has the ability to become a mainstream provider of domestic arithmetic. After all, this is a high investment, strong ecological industry. Jonka Doning's Haikuang DCU, 
which is also recognized as a domestic chip that can be used for scientific computing, AI model training and inference, is an AI expert who expects domestic arithmetic vendors to seize the moment and blossom. At present, domestic AI-related chip companies have Cambrian, Jingjia Micro, Haiguang Information, Baidu Kunlun, Ali Hanguang, Siyuan, Mushi, Pyron, More Threads, and Tennessee Intelligence Core, etc. However, the chips that can carry out large model pre-training are still only a few, such as Huawei and Haiguang.